everybody and thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be making a decorative wall art to go in my living room using the items that you see here that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I've got three lanyards, three placemats, the buffalo check ribbon, and three picture frames. So let's get started. Okay, the first step is to take the wrapping off the frames and remove the glass and the picture and the mat that was inside, set them aside. And I thought I had some Waverly black paint. I don't, um, and I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this is the some paint that I got from Dollar Tree, which will probably work just fine, but I'm not sure. So I did give these frames a light sanding just to make sure that that paint had something to grip onto. And now I'm gonna paint them and let them dry. I did plan to show you each step of the process, but somehow I lost the footage. It's pretty self-explanatory just looking at the finished product. I took the picture in each frame and used it as a pattern to cut out each placemat to use as the background for the picture. I do not recommend using paint because even though I lightly sanded each frame, the paint wouldn't grab it first and I had to keep retouching until it finally worked. I took the glass in the frame and put over the wooden sign that says Home Sweet Home and with a black Sharpie marker, traced over the letters and kept tracing over them until the letters were the thickness and darkness that I wanted. For this picture, I used a different pattern of placemat, but in the same color family. For the lettering, I used stencils I already had that I also bought from the Dollar Tree. I was unsure about staggering the letters like you see them, but when I was done, I decided I really liked it. This picture is my absolute favorite. I wanted to put the A on one. I knew I wanted to do that, but I didn't want to use the same stencil as in the family picture. So I just kept looking around when I saw this dish towel I already had hanging up as a decorative piece in the kitchen. So I traced out the floral vine and then centered the A that you see in the word American above and traced it as well. I know I sound way too excited about this find, but I'm just not that creative and I was just tickled when I thought to use this and it turned out so good. And here is the finished product. I didn't end up using the lanyards because they just didn't work, but I'm so happy with how they look without them. Well, that's it for today, and thank you so much for stopping by. See you soon.